out of there. Get out of there. I'm on my way now to go do a little brain surgery, aka castration, on an older stallion who's been giving his mama just a little bit of trouble lately. Not gonna be good. So we're gonna be giving him a, a minor hormonal adjustment by removing his testicles. Hi. Hi, baby. He's probably a little bit frustrated because he's got a lot of testosterone going through his body. So today I've got a 22-year-old stallion of mixed breed who I'm going to be castrating. He's already demonstrating some negative behavioral uh, attributes. So I think we'll be using some extra measures to try to protect ourselves, including a stud chain as well as a little bit of sedation. I think he's excited about it. <laughs> I need to get a tranquilizer to calm them down prior to give them the, it, giving them the anesthesia. Um, what I'm going to be using is xylazine. Whoa, got it. Got it? And we're going to be using a stud chain in order to move him from the small stall that he's in into a larger arena to do our procedure. And we're going to have to pass by some other mares and stallions. Just walk him on over there. Nice, clear path. All right. Hi, big boy. No. Just walk him in a circle. Let's bring him around. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> we got a very, very serious situation right now. Oh. Not gonna be good. God damn it. Okay, my clients evidently were not able to handle the horse when he got excited when he saw another stallion. So he was able to break free from them and he started rearing and trying to fight. Oh. Not gonna be good. God damn it. Okay, bring him over here. Hey, bring him over here. Bring him over here. Oh, yeah. oh. No! Oh. Yeah. Oh, baby. Oh. Hey, 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 hey! Get! Oh, oh, oh. In these emergency type of situations, it's very important that I keep a level head and that I stay under control in order to get the rest of the situation oh. to also stay under control. No. Hey! Ho! Oh. So at this oh. point, with the loose horse running around like a madman, trying to fight with the other horses, I gotta catch him. I gotta try to decrease any damage that he's gonna do to himself or the other horses. Ho! Oh. Ho! Oh. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Wait, watch out! Let's open a pen and get some hay and let's try to encourage him to go back in his stall. Dancer! Come here, boy! Come here! Come here! Ho! 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 Whoa! Stop! Whoa! Dancer, whoa! Whoa! Bring him over here. Ho! I know. Ho! Come here. Come here. Just don't lose him. Let's get him into the round pen, okay? We'll just do it over here. And that is why we're guilty. I was able to run our stallion uh, into a smaller pen that was a little bit farther away from the other horses and closer to where he was. Um, so a little change of plans. We're going to do our procedure in this pen rather than the arena. First step is going to be giving him a stronger, larger dose of a tranquilizer. And then I'm going to give him some strong anesthesia that will have him lay down so that I can continue with the procedure. Hold him. He's going to lay down. This is to be expected, okay? So no worries, Mary. We're going to do this procedure while he's down. 
because I don't want to get killed. Timber. Good boy. Not very strong. I got it. Okay. Your job's going to be to hold up this leg, otherwise I got to tie it to his head. Yep. <clears throat> All right, thank you. Stay down. The first thing I'm going to do is a little light surgical scrub of the region. And then I'm going to be putting lidocaine, which is a local anesthetic, directly into each testicle to make sure that he doesn't have any sensation. The castration itself is a fairly quick procedure. I take a blade over each testicle and I do an open technique. And hold on to that real tight, all right? So this is an open procedure. I exteriorize each testicle and then I attach a tool to it that's called the Henderson tool. I'm going to be careful to place it above the epididymis, which I call the brain because it kind of looks like a brain. Um, and I'm going to attach my Henderson tool before I twist it off. I attach that to a drill and I will twist off each testicle individually. That will create auto ligation and help with our hemostasis or help with our bleeding. One down, one to go. If you place your tool or you do your cutting below the epididymis, you'll end up with a horse that we call proud cut. And they still show that stallion-like behavior. <laughs> he is no longer a stallion. There's some big white balls. Dinner. <laughs> I'm putting some Epsom salts. You want it to be able to drain. And if you sew it up, you're just going to have a huge amount of inflammation that will not be able to drain, and then you have a huge, huge infection. Anytime I do this kind of procedure, I make sure that the horse is also given non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, an extended release antibiotic, and a booster for tetanus. Wow. You got some, uh, you got some pretty gnarly teeth in here. While they're down when I'm doing a castration, I always look in their mouth. I'm always checking to see how their teeth are doing and whether or not they have any teeth that need to come out or whether or not I need to come back and do a dental. Once the surgery is done, it doesn't mean it's my time to leave or exit stage left. I need to stay and wait around until the horse is all the way up and all the way recovered. We gotta be really careful when they wake up because they can, they don't know where their legs are. And sometimes uh, they'll misplace their feet. So now it's a waiting game until he decides to get up and then I'm gonna stabilize him once he's up on his feet and make sure he doesn't hurt himself. He can take as long as he wants to recover. I'd rather him have a nice, slow, stable recovery than a fast, jump-up recovery. Oh, you're fighting. It's okay. There's no hurry. No Boy. You see, bud. Ready to get up? You want to get up, Sternal? Come on, honey. Come here. Oh. Good job. Although the testicles are gone, that does not mean that we're going to have immediate changes with our behavior. It is going to take probably a couple months before they're going to have a decrease in that testosterone and be able to start exhibiting a little bit better behavior. And when you have an older stallion, sometimes some of that behavior is learned. So we'll see how much he benefits from this castration and hopefully it will resolve some of his behavioral issues. You're okay. You're a good boy. Yeah. What happened? You were very brave. You did a very good job. I'm getting your balls cut off.